Hey guys, Nolan. So we're here at Mel Swart Lake Gibson Conservation Area today. Pretty nice. Here in the world near Brock. Um, after we record this one. I'm re-recording the same day as the last one. Um, which is funny because I actually recorded, I think I recorded them on the same day originally. So I just have that chunk of videos missing. But we got quite a bit of trail here. I'm gonna take the direct route there. Um, it's very short. It's about a kilometer, like at its max really. Um, so we're just gonna do a nice loop around the park. I'll show you the views. I uh, don't wanna get spoil it too much, but this is really nice for sunsets, this boardwalk up here. Like it's, it's it'll be pretty nice now, but like it's really nice for boardwalks. So uh, see you over there. Okay, we are coming up to the boardwalk. Um, it sounds windy out, but it, I, I don't feel like it's windy. So let's see. Um, it's not bad at all. So you got a nice boardwalk here. Um, tonight it's a would be a it's gonna be a Friday night. Looks like it'll probably be really nice out and stuff. This boardwalk will probably be absolutely packed um, with brought kids and stuff coming here, but. We got quite a bit of people over there hanging out and stuff, doing their thing. Couple people on bikes, it looks like. <sighs> so we're just gonna walk through. I'm not gonna show you the. Well, we can walk on the whole thing, but let's catch on the other side. Okay, so I didn't want to show you the whole thing, but there is this nice little um, perch. It's not very high. It's maybe like six or seven feet high, but it gives you a little bit better of a view. But it's really nice because the sun sets that direction, so it's like you got all this. Just, lit up by the sunset, super nice. They have some insane pictures. Probably won't remember to put them in um, the video. Probably still won't remember to put them in the blog post even, but I'll try. Okay, so we just got off the boardwalk. You can go left to right, or hang left. Uh, you can go right and just take, takes you really straight back to the parking lot. We'll meet up with that trail Oop, after. Um, you know, we're just kind of wandering through the woods. It's nice and quiet over on this side usually, but it is thorough, so you gotta watch out. It gets a little stabby, I feel like. Oh, there's a bunny. Hi, little guy. How are you? All right, bye. Bunny. And now we got another little diversion here. That way, I think it just takes you like into the field there and the trail ends. This way, the trail takes you pretty much to the uh, the road there and we walk back near there. Yeah, so we're about the road, we're gonna head that way. So it's nice because this field was pretty freshly cut, I assume yesterday. It looks like um it's not really gotta worry about ticks at all but uh there is another little parking lot just before that set of trees there uh, and there's a huge hill next to it i'll show you when i get there because we're walking right through them um where you can see the sunset too you don't get the water but like you're higher up than that little perch so we're coming through these trees you can see the parking lot over there uh so this is where we'll call it quits I'll uh, rate it in the car. And yeah, that's been Mel Swart Lake Gibson. Oh, real quick to this, there's a little pavilion, not even pavilion, uh, wall here. It just says like, their sponsors and stuff like contributed to help make like many step park. Wow, I'm struggling. You get the idea, okay, bye. Alrighty, uh, Mel Swart rating. 17 out of 20 for scenery, it looks so nice. I guess it looks nice now, but it looks so nice in the sunset. Entrance four to five is pretty solid. The only thing it's really missing, I'd say, is like bathrooms maybe, and maybe a map. Location nine out of ten. Uh, really close to Brock, but like a little out of the way, um, which closes the four hundred six. Nice area, nice area. Uh, popularity eight out of ten. It's usually packed, especially like as far as it's not more busy now. There's only like three cars here, but it's usually packed. Services two out of five. Bathroom again. Um, and also, I don't, like, they don't really have much here. Like, they don't have kind of like a building where they do their stuff, like at Rockway, let's say. Fun, 4 to 15. It's, it's not very fun. It's kind of like a flat trail most of the way. Difficulty, 3 to 15. Again, it, it's flat. It, uh, there's not much to it. Length, 2 to 10. It's about a kilometer. You can maybe start to a kilometer and a half if you do every little foot of path, but I'm not doing that. Safety, 8 to 10. Pretty safe, it's just gets thorough, a little stabby. So uh, overall, it's a 57 out of 100, pretty good. Uh, I recommend it, not as a hike, but for pictures. Um, and maybe if you wanna go for like a walk. Uh, it also, oh, it's gone. There was a picnic table here you could eat food at, 
but it doesn't look like it's there anymore. But yeah, come for a little, maybe like a little walk. Like if you have a walk around your neighborhood, come here, do a little walk. Probably gonna be with the same length and stuff. Just uh, be careful of the stabs at night. Okay, that's all for me. Bye bye.